Hi Aries, welcome to your December 2015 love reading. It's Raina here and I picked some really interesting, wonderful cards for you Aries. I think you're in a really good place. Now because this is a general reading and it's not going to apply to all of you, I hope that you find at least one card here that speaks to your situation. You can always get a personalized reading with your astrological data along with a tarot spread, and I'll provide a link below for that. The first card I designated as the energy that you were leaving behind from November, and it's the judgment card. Right off the bat, I think that some of you are coming away from divorce proceedings, and this could have been in your favor, but regardless of how it turned out in court, there still is residual energy of maybe sadness and anger in some cases. So it's not that everything is wiped clean because, and I think that you came out the winner and that you are feeling a sense of freedom. For other people, there may have been a similar type of situation where you felt like you were able to feel vindicated from a situation like karma reared its head. And if you had been done wrong, another person had to realize that they did that to you. And so there's a sense of feeling emancipated in some way because the focal point in December is the sun card. So it really doesn't get much better than that. There's a feeling of joy, a feeling of spontaneity and playfulness. The sun card is connected to the sign of Leo. So it could be related to children that you are enjoying your children more. And let's say you were coming out of a bad relationship or then you might seek comfort with then you might seek comfort from your children even if they're adult children but there's definitely joy in the air and because we're in the holiday season this is kind of celebratory energy anyway but you can really celebrate and feel good about it especially if you were in a relationship that was negative because Aries people do not fare well with negativity. You really are positive thinkers and it's important for you especially to surround yourself with those who have similar values when it comes to living in a proactive way and you don't want to be dragged down by naysayers. And I think you've gotten free from that. Now, the advice from the universe is the Knight of Swords. So something unexpected might happen during the month of December, which will cause you to have to make quick decisions or take action very quickly. And this is right up Aries Alley because you are very spontaneous as it is and sometimes to the point of being quite rash because of your impatience. But the flip side of that is that you are not someone who clings to the past and you're perfectly willing to change things up and to make snap decisions if the situation calls for it. And the advice action to take is the eight of cups and this is about walking away so very interesting because i get this feeling that you are coming off of a relationship breakup but then at the same time this card is saying about moving on now would this and because it's a cups card it really has to do with moving on emotionally now for some of you the Knight of Swords may have to do with the legal profession and you might end up having to relocate with this Eight of Cups, but it might be severing ties even 
within your family. You might have to totally radically change your life. And the first step is cutting emotional ties with people that are connected to your past. And that's what the eight of cups is suggesting. So the, I have to say that with these five cards that I drew, three of them were major arcana cards. So something tells me that this is a period of a real shift in your life, Aries. And actually the outcome card is the star card, which is having your wishes, which is all about your hopes and dreams. And I think that some of you are getting back your positive nature that is innate within Aries people. You may have been embroiled in a very negative situation and that kind of dampened your joy in life and getting away from it brought out the sun with the sun card. And so now you can feel like dreaming and hoping and wishing again because you have this newly sun life. But the only thing is that I think some of you are going to realize that you're going to have to do more than break up with that person. You're going to have to possibly break up with other people that were in your life that are dragging you down also. Because it's very interesting when we raise our vibration, if other people cannot keep up with that, they drop out of our lives. And if we play our cards right, there is no drama surrounding them dropping out of their life. They just go of their own accord. And I remember reading or hearing that somewhere and finding it to be very true. Because the best way to break up with someone is for them to not even know that you've broken up with them. And sometimes there's so many sticky situations that we feel like, oh gosh, I can't do this. And there are ways to do things to put distance between you and another person that you no longer feel is really conducive to you living a positive life. And you can do this without the histrionics, which only serve to create more of a negative attraction. Because we, when we create drama, we create these force fields. And when we want to lessen ties or break ties, then we have to not have a very strong bond, energetic cord or bond that keeps us tied to that person. And we do that by lessening our at attention on that other person, even when we're not with them. Just that thinking about them pouring energy into that relationship, even from a distance. And so I really think that this is a great time for you, Aries. You had a total lunar eclipse on September 27th. And this may be the aftermath of that. There may have been some shakeups that occurred and that may still occur for some of you after you hear this. And it could be that you have to be the one to initiate it. That's not just going to happen of its own accord, but it speaks of transition, major changes, three major arcana cards. I just did Taurus's forecast for December and they started out the reading with two major arcana cards and they just had a full moon in October, a month after yours. So, when these things happen now with your full moon being a total lunar eclipse, that energy is even longer lasting because it's a more powerful transit. So I hope you enjoyed this love reading Aries. If you'd like something personal, click on the link below. Otherwise have a lovely December. Bye.